boys and girls, I'm back again to read you another book this week. This is called Does a Kangaroo Have a Mother Too? by Eric Carl. And if you remember, that's the uh, author I read last week with the uh, book that you could do all the movements to. All right, so uh, here's our kangaroo and the baby and the pouch. Let's see all the animals that are going to be in this book. Does a kangaroo have a mother too? Yes, a kangaroo has a mother just like me and just like you. Does a lion have a mother too? Hmm. Ooh, yes, a lion has a mother just like me and just like you. Look at the baby lions. Does a giraffe have a mother too? Yes, a giraffe has a mother just like me and you. Look at the giraffe. A giraffe was in our book last week. Does a penguin have a mother too? Yes, a penguin has a mother just like me and just like you. Does a swan have a mother too? Yes, a swan has a mother just like me and just like you. Right now, if you would go to a lake or a river, you would see lots of baby ducklings. Does a fox have a mother too? Yes, a fox has a mother just like me and just like you. I have a fox in my backyard, not living in my backyard, but usually every day I see him running through my backyard. I have to watch when I put my dog out. Does a dolphin have a mother too? Yes, a dolphin has a mother just like me and just like you. Have you ever seen a dolphin? Have you gone to an aquarium where you've seen one? Or uh, down the shore? You might have seen some porpoises jumping out of the ocean. Does a sheep have a mother too? Yes, a sheep has a mother just like me and you. Does a bear have a mother too? Yes, a bear has a mother just like me and you. Does an elephant have a mother too? Yes, an elephant has a mother just like me and you. Does a monkey have a mother too? Yes, a monkey has a mother just like me and you. And do animal mothers love their babies? Yes, of course they do. Animal mothers love their babies just as yours loves you. And yesterday was Mother's Day. So I hope you did something special for your mom made her breakfast or lunch or dinner, made her a card, gave her a big hug, told her how special she was, and thanked her for all the things she does for you, because your moms are special. They love you very much, and they work hard. They do your laundry. They make your food. They take care of you. They get you your clothes. They provide lots of things for you. So thank your mom for all the things she does for you and give her a big hug and tell her how much you love her. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that book and uh, appreciate your mom or your grandmom too or an aunt. They're all special in your life. Okay, I hope you're uh, enjoying your time at home and you're not too bored and you're getting outside to play. Miss you. Hugs, kisses. Mwah. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.